Welcome to D4DJ Groovy Mix. What do you need to know to begin playing? We're going to discuss what is D4DJ, how do you play, how do you build a team, how do you grind efficiently to collect resources, and what do you need to know about the gacha system. First, what is D4DJ Groovy Mix? It is a rhythm gacha game connected to the D4DJ anime which has one season so far and one spin-off anime season. The Japanese version was released in October 2020 and the English version was on May 27, 2021. D4DJ features 6 DJ groups which each have 4 members. In this game you choose your favorites and use them to earn high scores on songs. They have a nice selection of songs including original songs for each DJ group and popular anime songs and tracks from retro arcade games. You can also make medleys, which makes four songs together to act like a DJ. So how do you play? You play notes by tapping, holding, sliding, or scratching. Holding and scratching the turntables creates a unique mechanic which separates D4 DJ from other rhythm gotchas. Holding the turntable freezes the notes in the middle of the screen and scratching the turntable pushes back the notes in the middle. You will have to pay attention and learn how this affects the timing of the notes. To earn rewards from playing a song, you must spend voltage. Your voltage automatically recharges at 1 voltage per hour and your max voltage is 10. This means you can be away for 10 hours without wasting voltage. Once a day you get a free 5 voltage recharge. You can also recharge voltage by using energy drinks. These manual recharges can stack above 10, but your automatic recharges will stop when you are above 10. You normally spend 1 voltage on a song, but you can spend up to 5 voltage to multiply rewards and save time. Also, you can spend zero voltage to play freely in rehearsal mode with reduced rewards. So what modes does this game have? Free Live is the standard single player mode where you play any song you choose. Medley Live is an extra single player mode where you play a mix of four songs. You can choose your own four songs by going to setlist or play another player's four songs by visiting their club. Multi-Live is the multiplayer mode where you join a lobby with three other players and every player votes on a song to play and you work together to earn a high score. Battle Live is a special type of multi-Live where you compete to earn the highest score. And Multi-Live Medley is a medley version of Multi-Live. Both Battle Live and Multi Live Medley are unlocked at different times depending on the current in game event. Multi Lives give more rewards than Free Lives, so keep that in mind. Next, how do you build a team? Your team has four main members and four supporting members. Main members will activate skills during a song, and skills provide boosts to your health or your score. Supporting members contribute to the total stats of your team, but do nothing else. Initially, your support slots are locked, and you unlock them by playing until your rank increases. You will unlock them within a week or two. Now, how do you max your characters? You increase their level via the training menu by using EXP tickets. When they reach max level, limit break them by using crystals, to increase their max level. Repeat this until you reach max limit break, which is 3 for 3 star characters and 4 for 4 star characters. Also increase their skill level via the skill up menu by using skill tickets. If you grind during events, you'll be able to max 1 4 star per event easily. I've been playing for a month and a half and I have a handful of max characters. So next, how do you choose members for your team? You earn new members by spending diamonds on gacha or by participating in events. You can decorate your club with decorations 
which boost stats for specific DJ groups. So the optimal strategy is to select your favorite group and select decorations for your favorite group and build a team with all four members of that group as your main members. When you begin the game, you can make this easier by re-rolling until you have two four-star characters from your favorite DJ group. You get one free four-star guaranteed from the group of your choice, so you only need to pull one other four-star from that group during your re-roll. You will want to get four stars of the last two members eventually via the Star Dash ticket or via gacha or via song shells. You obtain song shells from rewards or from pulling dupes via gacha and you can exchange song shells for a ticket which gives you a free 4 star of your choice. Until then you can use 3 star versions of your missing members. When you are finished rerolling I recommend going to data transfer to create a backup for your data. You can link to your Twitter or create a transfer code and password. Also, I have footage of the reroll process playing in the corner of the video, so please feel free to follow along to learn how to reroll quickly and efficiently. What do you need to know about your character's stats? There are three types of stats, heart, technical, and physical, but the important thing is your total power, which is the sum of all three. So when do the different stats matter? During events, you get extra points based on one of the stats. For example, you might get extra points for having a high physical stat. Also, characters have a style, which may be street, party, cute, cool, or elegant. And these are used to determine bonuses during events. Lastly, there are groovy discs, which can be used to provide permanent stat boosts to a character. The boosts apply to every version of that character, but earning Groovy Discs is challenging and you need hundreds of them, so this is a long-term goal. Also, the maximum Groovy Disc increases are determined by your Dig Rank, which is increased by leveling up multiple versions of a character. How do you grind efficiently? Every day you want to do your daily quests, go to the exchange and buy any item, I recommend buying the bronze EXP tickets for 100 coins. This is dirt cheap, it's practically free. Or you can buy the energy drink 5 for one song shell. And this is the most efficient source of energy drinks, so you should be doing this anyway. Next visit another player's club, give them a like and play their medley. Then play two multi-lives, this includes any type of multi-live and you want to spend 5 voltage on a single song. I recommend doing this during one of your multi-lives to get extra rewards. Also, if there is an active event, visit the event page. After you finish all of these daily quests, go to DJ Road to collect your rewards. DJ Road is the name of the place where you go for quests. Also, there are quests for tutorials, such as Limit Break a Character, and quests for lifetime records such as play 100 songs by Peaky Peaky, play a thousand songs by Peaky Peaky, etc, etc. There is a weekly goal to play the song of the week, so remember to check that every week. Also, there are Groovy Mix tours which you can clear once per day, and these are like a tutorial or a rental. You play a sample of a specific song, with the settings and characters which are chosen for you. Also, every song gives rewards for meeting achievements at each difficulty level. On easy and normal, there are EXP and skill tickets. On hard and expert, there are diamonds for S score rank, SS score rank, full combo, and five clears. That means 200 diamonds for hard mode and 200 diamonds for expert. Some original songs are unlocked by reading story mode. Cover songs are unlocked via cover medals. Retro game songs are unlocked via soundtrack medals. And external songs, such as the Hololive songs, are unlocked via song pearls. 
Song pearls are more rare, so spend them wisely. Each DJ group has a unit rank, which you can increase up to 20 by using that group's members on your team when you play a song. Each time you increase their rank, you unlock a chapter of that group's story, and reading stories rewards you with diamonds. Now, how do you grind events? There are a few different types of events, but TLDR, play songs as many times as possible to earn points which get you rewards, and these rewards include coins, upgrade materials, diamonds, and event exclusives. Event exclusives include free 3-star characters, decorations for your club, and titles for your profile. Remember to read the event stories to earn diamonds. Now let's talk about how each event works so you can grind efficiently. Every event gives you event points and event tokens. There is a set of rewards that you unlock by earning event points, and there is also an event point ranking which can give you rewards. You are ranked against other players for your total event points and your daily event points. Rewards include titles for your profile, decorations for your club, diamonds, song pearls, crystals, EXP tickets, and skill tickets. I recommend trying to rank in the top 1000 for daily event points. This gives you 4 crystals, 1 song pearl, and 1 platinum skill ticket. This is the best source of extra crystals and skill tickets. You may need to spend around 10 energy drink 5s to place in the top 1000 for daily event points, but you should be able to afford this a couple of times per event. Also remember you can spend up to 5 voltage per song to multiply your event points and save time. As opposed to event points, you use event tokens to buy items at the exchange. Prioritize the event exclusive items. Um, next prioritize valuables like diamonds, crystals, and groovy discs. And lastly prioritize tickets and pieces. So what about the specific types of events? I will show descriptions of the events on screen to save time, but follow the same basic rules to maximize your rewards. Remember to spend your voltage appropriately and aim for the top 1000 daily points rankings. Lastly, remember that the game runs on UTC time, so you will have to convert all of the times shown in game to your time zone. For example, UTC equals EST plus 4 hours. Lastly, how do you roll gacha wisely? Some gachas allow you to spark, which means you automatically get the character you want after you spend a certain amount of currency. This game does not have a spark, which is unfortunate, and it means you do not need to save to reach that certain amount of currency. Instead of sparking, this game gives you a guaranteed 4 star after you reach a set amount. The 4 star may or may not be the character featured on the gacha, but there is a 70% chance that it will be a featured character, so plan accordingly. You can spend your diamonds whenever you want, but you may want to save for limited versions of your favorite characters. For example, a special version of each girl is released on their birthday. You might also want to save for collab exclusive units. Rolling gacha is important for collecting characters and earning high scores, but remember that you can ignore the gacha and treat D4DJ like a traditional rhythm game to enjoy playing songs and earning full combos which are separate from your score. This is the end of my D4DJ beginner guide. Thanks for watching and have fun.